Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today, we've got a great, easy, delicious dessert. Today, we're making peanut butter pie. And if that sounds like something you would just absolutely adore or someone in your family would adore, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and give me a thumbs up. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Leslie. Welcome. Let's get started on this peanut butter pie. Okay, so most of you know who watch me regularly, I know that I have been MIA for two videos. I've missed two videos. Um, I did have a muscle biopsy done on Monday on this arm. So if you see me favoring this arm a little bit, that is why. Uh, everything went great. We're just waiting on results. And um, yeah, so Tuesday I felt great. I felt wonderful. Yesterday, I did not feel quite as good, but today I feel really good. So we're going to try to make this pie. And like I said, I may be doing, you know, acting kind of funny with this arm, but anyway. Okay, so let me tell you about this pie. This pie is a delicious pie. It comes from my friend Tammy over at Collard Valley Cooks. I will link her video down below. We're going to add just a little something to it. I'm going to add a crumble to the top. And um, so, yeah, I will link her video down below. If you've not checked Tammy out, you need to. She is, oh, I just love her and Chris. They are wonderful, wonderful people. And I will link her video for her peanut butter pie, which I'm kind of using her recipe. Uh, but we're adding just a little something, something on top. So she and I cook almost identical. We have fried chicken. Before I ever started watching her, we fry chicken the exact same way. Um, we fry okra the exact same way. We make our cornbread the exact same way. I think sometimes they put sugar in theirs. I don't put sugar in mine. Um, but I did learn a cool trick from them um, about how to put sprinkled cornmeal on the bottom and it comes out wonderful and crunchy and delicious and um so we cook almost identically i mean it is crazy like when i started watching her i was like that's how i make it that's how i make it so we are so much alike it is not even funny so anyway i had never made though peanut butter pie until i watched her so this is her recipe so let's get started Okay, so the first thing I want to start on is I want to get the crumble made and set aside. So, I'm going to loosen my camera up. Not that much. <laughs> I've got me a little bowl here. And I'm going to start with a half a cup of powdered sugar. We're going to start with a half a cup of powdered sugar. And it I'm not leveling it all for making it exact. We'll just go with what we do. All right, so now I'm going to add about a third of a cup of peanut butter. There again, I'm not making it quite exact. I'm just getting it close. All right, we'll set that aside. And I've got my little blending fork here. Now you could use a food processor, and I don't know how this is going to work with my arm. So I'm just going to blend this together. And I may like scrape it off and then go again until I get it into a little crumble. And since my arm is taking me a while, I'm going to go ahead and work this up and bring you back when I get it done because you don't want to watch me struggle with my arm. So I'm just going to keep mixing this up and I'll bring you back when I get it done. Okay, guys, I got out a smaller fork. It was just easier for my arm to manage. And so I had my little crumble made right here. So we're going to set that aside. I'm going to clean this up and we'll get started on the pie. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I have some a block of room temperature cream cheese. And I've got my mixing bowl here. And I'm going to be using my whisk attachment because I want it to be nice and fluffy. So I'm going to drop this cream cheese in here, hopefully. 
hopefully. It's so funny how your arm, like, like it makes my fingers weak. <laughs> That's quite hilarious how it affects everything. And, and like, if you have one muscle down, you don't realize how much depends on that muscle till that muscle's down. Okay. So, in with the cream cheese, I'm going to mix in a half a cup of sugar. And we're going to go ahead and get, I'm going to turn around and get this going on the beater, on the mixer. We'll put my whisk attachment on. Get my bowl going. Lock it down and I'm just going to turn it on. Well, it helps to plug it up. Ouch. Sorry. You might hear me grunt a little bit, too. <laughs> okay, so while that's going, I'm going to measure out a half a cup of the peanut butter. We're going to get that measured out. And um, I'm just using the same scoop I used in the sugar. Somebody mentioned that these may not be accurate measurement spoons, but they're accurate enough. They, they, nothing has turned out wrong with them yet. So, <laughs> I love them because they get down into things and, so okay guys, I've got my peanut butter measured out. I will meet you guys over at the mixer. Okay, it's mixed up the cream cheese and sugar nicely. So I'm just going to turn that off and I'm going to raise it up just so I can scrape this in good. And we're going to scrape this peanut butter in. Now it calls for 16 ounces of um, Cool Whip. I think part of that is like to top it with, um, but it's still, I'm probably going to use more than one 8 ounce um, thing of Cool Whip. Now y'all can definitely make your own Cool Whip with a uh, heavy cream, but y'all know my arm is not up to it. So I'm not going to be doing that. And this is the only mixer I have, so I'm not going to do that. I put just a tad bit of vanilla in, and so I'm going to lock this back down and let it whisk up some more. We're going to let it get that um, peanut butter in there really good. I'm going to turn it up. All right, I'm going to give the sides a scrape real quick. Um, I don't want anything left around the sides. And so let me get a spatula and we will scrape the sides down. If I can find one. And y'all will just have to forgive me for not being well prepared today. And I go down to the bottom and I mix it in because you want everything mixed up really well. All right. Now let's let it go again. While it's mixing, I'll be getting the Cool Whip over here. Okay guys, I'm going to go in with a dollop of Cool Whip. And yes, I used the wrong spoon. Y'all notice that, huh? I'm going to lift it up and do this. <laughs> I'm actually going to go in with this full 8 ounce container. And we'll save the other one for topping, putting a dollop on each slice. All right. Now let me scrape the sides down again. And the bottom. All right. Now let's let it go a whirl. 
I'll clean my mixer up. Okay guys, I believe it's ready. I'll mix in the side, the whipped cream on the side, and um, well, I'll meet you over at the bar with the pie crust. Okay guys, so the crust we're going to use is an Oreo store-bought um, pie crust. Now by all means, you can definitely, definitely make your own Oreo pie crust. Just, just crush up Oreos, add a little melted butter, press it in a pan. But today we're going easy, remember, because of my arm, so we're going easy. But if you want to make it fully from scratch, you go right ahead and make your own whipped cream. This is just an easy, quick dessert. My little Judah bug has had a rough week, and so Bubbles is making him something special for tonight. So, all right, let me get you turned down here. Here is my pie crust, and we're going to try this with my arm. We're just going to dollop it in. I'm actually doing really well today with my arm, y'all. I'm actually tickle peak how good I'm actually doing today. All right. Bryant would lick the bowl if he was here. Bryant loves peanut butter. Y'all know he is a peanut butter addict. <laughs> it's bad when we go to bed at night and I have to yell in here, get out of the peanut butter. <laughs> All right. Isn't that beautiful? Now, we're going to make it even prettier. I'm going to grab my crumble. And then one other thing, and I'll be right back. Okay, so you really don't want the big pieces of your peanut butter crumble, so you can save that to snack on. <laughs> but just get the little pieces, and we're just going to crumble this over the pie. Like I said, I'm reaching in for the little, little crumbles, just. There we go. Just make, gives it a little something extra. I mean, this pie is decking it all on its own. You don't even need this crumble at all. All right, now we'll set that aside and on top of the crumble, gotta add some Hershey syrup. This is like a Reese cup. Okay guys. I'm gonna skip this in the refrigerator peanut butter pie. We're going to get it in the refrigerator, get it cool, and as soon as Bryant comes in and it's set, we will have a taste. Okay guys, so as you can see, you can make a delicious, delicious dessert. Easy peasy peanut butter dessert with a hurt arm. <laughs> you can do it. And speaking of peanut butter desserts, I'm standing here. My sweet Jessica, <clears throat> Uh, if you've watched any of my channel or any of my videos, you've probably met her before. Made her famous no-bake cookies. I will link that video down below as well. I cannot make these. And so I had her come over here and um, she made her cookies. Anyway, since I had my muscle box, she, she made me another batch, brought them to me. Hmm. 
I could eat my weight in these. Yes, I know you don't like me talking with my mouthful, but y'all, I could eat my weight in these cookies. They are so good. So I'll link her video to her cookies down below as well. What kind of peanut butter desserts do you guys make? I'm going to have my niece on here soon, and we are going to make her famous peanut butter cheesecake. So that'll be a treat. So what kind of desserts do you guys make with peanut butter? Of course, peanut butter cookies. I haven't made those. I need to make those for you guys. Um, peanut butter cookies. What kind of peanut butter desserts do you make? I have to say, with the exception of these, I'm not a big peanut butter dessert fan. Like, I don't like peanut butter fudge. Um, I don't like that kind of stuff. I love a Reese cup. Oh my goodness, I love me a Reese cup. Um, so, y'all give me some peanut butter ideas. My husband loves peanut butter. And I need to go to Sam's because that's, I mean, that's the last jar of peanut butter. So, I need to go, go buy me the two-pack. <laughs> peanut butter because he goes through it that fast goes through it that fast so I'm going to enjoy my cookie while the pie is setting up and then when Bryant comes in I'm going to have him give the pie a taste and let you guys know how it is I know it's going to be delicious it came from Tammy it's got to be delicious so and we'll see what we think of the crumble on top. May not need it. Just kind of made it pretty. But anyway, y'all leave me comments down below about your peanut butter desserts and what you like with peanut butter. Because my husband loves him some peanut butter. I mean, he's going to turn it into peanut butter. One year for pastor appreciation, it was so funny. I think multiple people got him zesta crackers and jars of peanut butter. It was so funny. He loves him some peanut butter. So, anyway, stay tuned. Bryant's going to test it in just a minute when it sets up. Okay, y'all, there is the pie. I've just gotten it out of the refrigerator. It's been in the refrigerator most of the day. So, Bryant's in here. We just finished supper. And I'm going to cut him a slice of this pie. He's tore out of the frame because I have no milk. he doesn't have any milk. Now, who would let their husband run out of milk? Hmm? It's hard to do with a lame arm, Daddy. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Turn it up where they can see you. All right. They still I can't, can't see they still you. They still can't see me. <laughs> Just turn it up. There you she go. She is short. How's that? I'll step back here. I need to get, somebody told me I need a stool. <laughs> if she got a stool, she would fall and break her neck. <laughs> this is true. Mm -hmm. You want to bite? Nope. I want you to bite it. You know why she don't want to bite? Because I'm not a big She's peanut butter fan. She's not a big peanut butter fan. But... I'm a huge peanut butter fan. As Judy would say, it's really, really tasty. Really, really tasty. That ought to be on a menu somewhere right there. <laughs> that must mean it's good. That is very, very good. Do you like the crumb on top? Yeah, where's my sign that says Phenomenal? Phenomenal, it's right up there. Do you need it? And you phenomenal. need your t-shirt on. You've got two t-shirts. Mm -hmm. You've smooth. got a black one and you've got a white one with purple writing. I've had some before where the peanut butter can be overpowering. This right here is a great balance. The chocolate um, garnishing or drizzle on top just gives a great flavor at the same time. And you like the crumb on top? Crumb is good too. This is a 10 out of 5. A 10 out of 5? Yep. Woohoo! I doubled my points. I'm a peanut butter man. Oh. He loves his peanut butter, y'all. I have to hide it sometimes. If you like peanut butter, this is a guy to make. How hard was it? That was so easy. Right. This is so easy. easy. You want to make your husband happy? Make this pie. So I will link the two recipes down below that I mentioned in here. The Tammy's Color Valley Cook and Jessica's Cookies. I'll link those down below. 
y'all leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite peanut butter dessert is. Um, somebody sent me a message, told me they love their mom's peanut butter fudge. I am not a peanut butter fudge fan, but I haven't tried it since I was a kid. So it may be time for me to try it again and see if I don't like it. So anyway, Caroline's dying for a piece of this, so I'm going to cut her a slice. And um, I just want to thank you guys for joining us. If you want to help my channel out, the best thing in the world you can do is share my videos on all your social media. Look what I found. <laughs> he found some milk. Share the videos. Yep. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and leave me a comment. And we will see you on the next video. What's the next one going to be? Well, if the video turns out, because I kind of forgot to record some, it might be hamburger steaks. But we'll see how much of the footage I got. And um, But the plan is for hamburger steaks. And you may just get whatever I got. So, anyway, he just finished off his pie <laughs> when y'all couldn't see. All right, thank you guys for watching. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.